Welcome to the final presentation for Team 28. We worked on fashion recommendations using machine learning. Our project is based on the ongoing Kaggle competition, H&M Personalized Fashion Recommendations, using recommender systems. Our data set consisted of purchase history for each customer, along with features such as their age, zip code, etc., and features of the purchase product, such as product group, description, image, etc. For the purpose of our project, we explored collaborative and content-based methods for prediction with recommender systems. Given the purchase history of customers, along with metadata about both the product and the customer, our goal was to predict what products the customer will purchase in the time duration of two months right after the training data ends. Our first step was to perform preliminary data exploration and pre-processing. The data set consisted of three CSV files, the first being articles, which consisted of product features such as product group, description, etc. Customers, containing customer features such as age, ID, zip code, etc. And the transactions file, consisting of purchase history of the customers. Due to the huge amount of data and the computational limitations, we decided to sample a portion of the data set for our purpose. As can be seen here, the data retrieved starts from September 2018 and continues on till December 2020. There seems to be an overall pattern in increasing purchases during the first half of the year, which peaks in June and then follows a sharper decline during the second half. Between each year, the month to month trend seems to be almost identical as depicted in the 2019 and 2020 graphs. As seen in the graph here, we extracted all the transactions made during the year 2020, which we further split into training, test and validation data sets. Our testing and validation data sets were randomly sampled from the last two months of data so that our model will try to predict what a customer is likely to purchase based on their previous history of purchases in the seven months prior. Next, to aggregate the data month-wise and to reinforce our findings from the first two plots, the visualization here shows a general increase in the purchases from May to June, at which point there is a sharper decline for the latter half of the year. This decline mostly occurs in the month of July with purchases in the following months of August and September being similar. The methods we explored in this project include collaborative filtering, content-based methods, and neural network-based methods. The collaborative filtering method makes predictions based on user similarity. If two customers X and Y have similar tastes, our aim was to be able to predict the purchases made by customer Y based on the purchases made by customer X. As part of the matrix factorization, we formed a matrix A that consisted of users and the articles bought by those users. Following this, we use SVD and use the top k sigma values to rebuild matrix A. This resultant matrix gives us the probability that user X will be interested in buying an article based on the articles bought by other users that have a similar taste as user X. Our second method was the content-based method. Content-based methods use metadata of articles previously bought by the users and recommend articles similar to those. Its underlying principle is that if a user A bought article X, then there is a high probability that user will be interested in buying other articles that are similar to the article X. For the content-based methods, we follow two approaches. In our first approach, we combined all the article metadata into a single descriptive text, and on this, we ran PFIDF vectorization. Next, we calculated the cosine similarity between the articles based on the vectorization to group the articles into similar products. This approach was giving us poor results and hence we decided to group articles in combination with other advanced techniques. In our second approach, we used k-means clustering to group images of products into different categories. Here, categories conceptually refer to the product types like shirts, pants, shoes, and so on. As we are working with image data, this also takes into consideration the patterns or designs on the products. For instance, products with flowers or stripes may be clustered together. We used a modified version of the VGT16 architecture, which can be seen here, to extract features from the images. Our task here is not to perform image recognition, but to extract features from images. Because of this, we only use the feature layer, average pooling layer, and one fully connected layer that outputs a 4096 dimensional vector. The architecture that we used can be seen here. We create multiple clustering models with clusters ranging from 15 to 50. For each k, we calculate the silhouette coefficient and davis boolean score in order to evaluate the goodness of clustering. We also use elbow method to determine the optimum number of clusters. 
These clusters can then be used to recommend products to the customers based on their previous purchases. For example, given that a person has purchased a dress with floral pattern in the last month, we predict the cluster to which this floral dress belongs to. Next, we pull out all the products belonging to that cluster and calculate the Euclidean distance between the test image and all the other images in the cluster. We sort this and extract the lowest five values which are the top five products most similar to the input product. These products can then be recommended to the customer. Recently, deep neural networks, that is neural networks that have a large number of weight layers, have shown impressive performance on a wide variety of domains such as computer vision and natural language processing. As we saw previously, we were able to use features from VGG16 to clusters visually similar clothing via k-means. We extend this approach and use pairwise distances for similarity. For feature generation, we pass the images from our dataset through VGG16 to generate image features. We calculate the pairwise distances between these features and suggest similar clothing based on the nearest neighbors. Humans reason about the world by engaging multiple modalities of vision and language. Based on this intuition, we expect our model performance to improve by using multimodal neural network features. We use DistalBot, a high-performing and relatively lightweight NLP model, to generate our text features from the text descriptions in our dataset. We use these features in combination with VGG16 features to improve our clothing recommendation. Following the same steps as above, we use A, cosine distances, and B, Euclidean distances to measure product similarity. We use the same strategy as above to recommend items to each user that is based only on their last purchase in the train data. The metric we use to measure performance is mean average precision at K or MAP at K for short. It is a well-suited metric for recommendation systems and the pseudocode for that is given below. We quickly go over our midterm results for context. Note that our MAP at K scores are in the order of 4E minus 3. Results and discussion. Below, we show qualitative results of our k-means clustering-based recommendation systems, starting with how we chose the number of clusters. The table below shows silhouette and davies bolden scores for varying values of k, and the image below shows how we used the elbow method to choose the optimal number of clusters, k. In the following images below, notice how similar products are clustered into the same cluster, that is, jeans and trousers are part of the same cluster and all tops with the stripes design are part of another cluster, whereas all floral designs are clustered together. This is promising. The images below show the results of our k-means similarity-based recommendation system. On the left is the query image, and the five images on the right, top one through top five, are the top five recommendations based on the query image. These results are promising. Content-based recommendation. Using the neural features in our content-based methods, we are able to obtain an MAP at 12 of 0.01, a huge improvement from our midterm result of 0.005. The image below shows the comparison between the content-based methods when we use only image features, that is the red line, and when we use image and text features, both, the blue line. You can say that if using image plus text features gives us a marginal improvement. Discussion. A key takeaway from our final report is the improved performance we obtain by incorporating product image and description features into our content-based methods. In summary, we, in this project, we experimented with collaborative filtering, that is matrix factorization, content-based methods using classical features such as TF-IDF, and content-based methods with neural features such as VGG16 and DistilBert. And we conclude that content-based methods with neural features perform the best overall. Thank you.